everyone, it's Claire from Hepburn Libraries. How are you all? Today we're going to be talking about Pride Month and why we have a Pride Month and the signs connected with Pride. Now every year during the month of June, more so in America than in the Southern Hemisphere, because in the Southern Hemisphere we tend to celebrate Pride in our summer, so January, February, March, depending where you are. So every year during the month of June, the LGBTIQ plus community celebrates in a number of different ways. Across the globe, various events are held during this special month as a way of recognising the influence LGBTIQ plus people have around the world. Why was June chosen? Because it's when the Stonewall riots took place way back in 1969, so 51 years ago. And why did they occur? Transgendered women of colour were tired of being oppressed, basically. So as well as being a month-long celebration, Pride Month is also an opportunity to peacefully protest and raise awareness of current issues facing our community. So some of the uh, signs I'm going to teach you today are directly connected to LGBTIQ+. Okay, so generally we'd finger spell it LGBTIQ+ plus and community. So the L is lesbian, the G is gay, don't confuse it with star which I have done before, B bisexual, transgender is with an open hand, thumb on chest and then come round and in. This is a new one for me and I really like it. So open hand, thumb and around transgender. Okay, intersex, we finger spell it. Intersex. Or two bodies. Depends which one you want to use. Uh, now Q. Q is also an umbrella term. Queer. Some people don't like to be labelled and queer is a really good overall term. Q and across. Queer. The plus can cover all the other um, identities that different people of my community uh, go by, whether it be pansexual, um, aromantic, uh, I actually forgot the A. The A is asexual. Don't know why I had an N then, but now asexual. Some people just prefer to be friends with people. Okay, so the next one we're going to be doing is... Uh, we did community before. The other one is protest. Now I've got two versions of happy pride. In Australian Sign Language we use happy and pride. Um, international Sign Language or American, happy world pride. We also use this sign for rainbow and as you can see behind me we use the rainbow flag as a symbol of pride. Alright guys, have a great day and happy pride to all my brothers and sisters.